So a new 3D modeling app for iPad and iPhone was released on App Store a few weeks ago. It's called Valence 3D. Uh, I've been using it for a week. So today I will show you how I model this flintlock pistol in this app and talk about my experience and 3D modeling in general. As you can see, uh, you can import reference photos in this app, like most 3D modeling softwares, and then you can lock it and lower the opacity. To add primitive forms, you have to tap on the green button in the right bottom corner. In my case, here I'm starting off with the stock of the pistol. And for that, I've added a plane and in wireframe mode, orthographic view, I'm tracing the outline of the reference I drew in Infinite Painter. You can add mirror modifier in Valence 3D. So you can see I'm taking advantage of this feature here. I'm adding edge loops to make the form rounder. Here I'm doing the same thing just for the upper part. One thing I love about among many things about this app is the minimal interface. It's just very cool. You can insert faces as you can see me doing here. Now I'm adding a sphere to create uh, the butt of the pistol. After deleting these faces with lasso selection, I'm switching to edge mode to extrude edges and then matching the outline of the reference like this. If you are someone who's just starting out or haven't had much experience with 3D modeling, it may feel a bit overwhelming, but don't worry. It's completely natural to feel that way and I'm planning a 3D modeling tutorial series on this channel for absolute beginners. Anyway, as you can see, we can combine two objects and bridge between edges. You can also add subdivision modifiers in this app. Now, to create the barrel of the pistol, I'm adding a tube, increasing the height and then rotating it. You can snap by long pressing one finger while rotating. This works for move and scale too. Now I'm adding supporting edge loops. To create the front of the stock, I've added a cube. And after deleting these faces, I'm applying a mirror modifier. adding bevels to these edges to add roundness. So this modeling app is brand new, but as you can see, it's already got most useful modeling tools and I hope in future updates will get more modeling tools and modifiers. And I hear the developer is working relentlessly. So we can only expect good things from this app. So for the trigger guard, I'm using a box and extruding the face to match the reference like this. Then duplicating it to create the trigger itself. Pretty simple. Now 
Then applying the subdivision modifier, level set to 1. Now I've imported my hand drawn reference for flintlock mechanism. As you can see here, uh, working with low poly makes the job much easier and uh, polygonal modeling like this allows you to create 3D models with good topology, which is crucial for good texturing and uh, many more things like animation, you know, rigging. Besides, you can use this low poly model as the in-game model later. For the screw, I've added a rounded cube and have only kept one quarter. Then after inserting these faces, I've extruded downward for the slot of the screw. and then applied the mirror modifier once in x-axis and again in z-axis. Nice and simple. I can export this low poly model to Nomad Sculpt and add finer details and texture it later, which is what I'm gonna do in the next video. So, Make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Anyway, um, after using this app, I feel like uh, Valence 3D and Nomad Sculpt complement each other. Uh, I cannot wait to make more projects using these two. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, in the next video, I will texture this model in Nomad. If you have any question regarding 3D modeling, feel free to ask me in the comment and as always, thank you for watching.